So the first build of official Pixel Experience ROM based on Android Pie is here for the Redmi Note 3. But we have a problem here. I did flash the ROM and a lot of you guys were asking me that have you tested the ROM or are you gonna do the review? Yes of course I am gonna do the review but here is the problem. I did flash the ROM, I booted into the ROM, everything was super fine, the ROM is like super smooth, the camera was working. I did not test the Vault Edo because my primary sim is in the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So I was testing the ROM like setting up the device. I was getting ready to test the ROM. Then I see that the Google Now cards to the left of the launcher was not really working. So what I did, I just rebooted the ROM. So after the reboot, I see I am booted into the lock screen. So it's normal. I thought it's normal. I just unlocked the device with the pin so i entered the pin and then i see i have to set the device up again which was quite annoying then i tried to set up but it did not go through it was forced closing every time so what i did well i clean flashed the rom again and again i set it up everything again the rom was working super fine but then again when i restarted the rom there was the same problem it asked for the setup again but if you try to complete the setup in the second time it won't complete it it's gonna force stop again so i thought what's the problem here then i switched to xda then i see some people saying that you have to flash the vault e patch for this and i didn't want to do that as of now because in the past i have had pretty bad experience while flashing these patches and stuff so I will recommend you guys not to flash this ROM as of now but don't get me wrong let me tell you that this is just great that this ROM was not even working a couple of days back like not even booting up but right now it's working super fine and it's great that we have an official Android Pie ROM. So I would say wait for the next build and I hope that in the next build this problem will get fixed but I was just pretty surprised with the fluidity of the ROM. It was just super smooth on the Redmi Note 3 and I was literally surprised. So that's it. That's what I wanted to talk to you guys about this video. Thanks so much for watching. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet and like this video if you like this information. So that's been it. That's pretty much it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye now.